Hey guys, first off, let's take a moment to feel for Vanessa Carlisle. Because rumor has it, Deadpool 4 might see Wade Wilson giving her the boot. What? Why would I go with you? Yep, it's looking like our guy Deadpool might be moving on. Vanessa's been his one and only love interest so far, his ride or die motivation. But with this next Deadpool project, it seems like Marvel Studios might be taking things in a whole new direction. You look ridiculous. People have waited decades for this fight. After the huge success of Deadpool and Wolverine, thanks to Disney's takeover of Fox, Deadpool now falls under the Marvel Studios banner. And right on the heels of that, Marvel's Agatha All Along came out, introducing a certain character who might just be the one to make Wade's head turn. Enter Rio Vidal, AKA Death. I heard you guys were having a party. Yep, Death. It's getting deep, folks. Uh-huh. I mean, who saw this coming? The love story of Wade and Vanessa ending in such a twist. But hey, Wade's gotta make a choice here. It's between a blockbuster Deadpool 4, a big check, and his new flame Rio Vidal, or sticking with Vanessa, going broke, and embracing the fun employment lifestyle. So, what'll it be? Ryan Reynolds, uh -oh. help us out here, buddy. Huh? All right, if you're as hyped as I am to dig into what's next for the love life of the Merc with a mouth, let's get into it. And before we go all in, make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss the next breakdown. Who's next? Will there be a Deadpool 4? Uh, I, uh, I... All right, let's get real here. Don't let Ryan Reynolds' jokes mess with you. Who wouldn't want more Deadpool, right? Especially Marvel Studios and Disney. They know they'd be leaving major cash on the table if they passed up on another round of Wade Wilson. Deadpool and Wolverine was a massive hit, raking in over $1.3 billion at the box office. That's almost double what Deadpool and Deadpool 2 made. So why would they stop okay, now? Sure. I wouldn't even try powdered gonads. Do you want to build a snowman? Yes! <laughs> more Ryan Reynolds, more laughs, more Deadpool. It's a no-brainer. If you're worried there won't be a Deadpool 4 because of what Ryan joked about in his interviews with Jimmy Fallon, take a breath. That's classic Reynolds. He's always goofing around on talk shows, throwing out curveballs just for kicks. Chances are he's just having fun messing with us. But I'll admit, Deadpool's future isn't exactly straightforward. Marvel Studios hasn't officially announced anything yet about Deadpool 4. While things went pretty smoothly for Wade over at Fox, he's now in new territory under Disney and Marvel Studios, which means different rules and expectations. But let's be real. After the success of Deadpool and Wolverine, they've set things up perfectly to keep these characters going. That final scene could have easily been a wrap up for Deadpool and Wolverine, but it felt more like Marvel saying, don't worry, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. We might even get to see them in action till they're 90. One of the great things about Deadpool, he doesn't have to follow the rest of the Marvel Cinematic Universe's rigid timeline. He's got the TVA on speed dial now. So a Deadpool 4 wouldn't create the same kind of scheduling headaches that other MCU films bring. He can pretty much show up whenever he wants. He's Deadpool. Does the MCU actually need Deadpool though? That's the million dollar question. I'd say yes. The success of Deadpool and Wolverine wasn't just about dollars. It was a quality boost, and it added a fresh vibe that the MCU desperately needed. For fans who might have felt a little let down by movies like The Marvels or Quantumania, Deadpool and Wolverine was the movie that got them back in theater seats, hype for the MCU's future. And it delivered. People loved it. Go. Let's fucking go. In fact, with Deadpool and Wolverine, it feels like fans rediscovered why they love Marvel, and it's got them excited again about what's next. Looking at it from a storyline perspective, the MCU has struggled a bit to find its main character post Endgame. We've seen Spider Man, Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel, and Thor all take turns in the spotlight, but none have had the lasting impact that Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark did. Could Deadpool be the one to fill that gap? It's not out of the question. So, nope, I don't believe what Ryan Reynolds said to Jimmy They've Fallon one Deadpool bit. 4, yeah, 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 so we cannot make that no. happen. With everything we just covered, I'd be shocked if Marvel isn't already planning a Deadpool 4. <laughs> Vanessa's love story might be over. All right, so let's talk about Vanessa. 
Yeah, it's tough, but with Deadpool in a new universe now, it looks like Vanessa might have to let him go. Deadpool joining the MCU opens up all kinds of new connections for him, bringing him face to face with characters we've known for years. Not to mention, it also puts him closer to some of the storylines from the comics. And while Vanessa Carlisle, AKA Copycat, has been Wade's one and only on-screen love, it's worth noting she's not his only flame in the comics. Morena Baccarin's Vanessa has had Wade totally smitten for three films now, but in the comics, well, Wade's had a bit more, let's say, variety. Uh -oh. He's crossed paths romantically with some of Marvel's strongest, like Carol Danvers, Rogue, Domino, Black Widow, and even Lady Death herself. And with the recent debut of Death and Agatha all along, she's definitely on my wish list for Deadpool 4. Deadpool and Death's relationship in the comics is unique, to say the least. After a series of near-death encounters, Wade falls for Lady Death. And during the 2002 storyline Funeral for a Freak, Death starts returning those feelings. This didn't sit well with Thanos though, since he's got a big crush on Death too. In a jealous rage, Thanos curses Wade with immortality so he can never be with her. Pretty wild, right? Their twisted love story is one of Marvel's most memorable, mainly because Thanos' jealousy literally kept Wade alive. Now, before you laugh at Thanos, remember this is the guy who wiped out half the universe to impress Death. That's dedication. But Death didn't exactly return the favor, choosing to ghost Thanos instead. Infinity Saga fans might recognize his mission, although his romantic motive didn't make it into the movies. Plus, in Deadpool 2 and Deadpool and Wolverine, it's already clear that there's distance growing between Vanessa and Wade. Wade's still crazy about her, but Vanessa seems to have found her own path. In Deadpool and Wolverine, we even uh, see hints that yeah. Vanessa might have moved on uh, with someone new. Work. Dermot. Though we don't know if that's legit or just her way of creating some space. So how might Wade and Vanessa officially part ways? A few ideas come to mind. First, they could simply break up. We saw a hint of that in Deadpool and Wolverine, so it's not out of the Where question. You are see you? Another option is a more dramatic twist, like Vanessa's death, which would add a serious story hook. This could even set up a meeting between Wade and Rio Vidal in the MCU. And then there's an interesting third option, Vanessa turning villain. Remember, in the comics, she's copycat, a mutant shapeshifter. So far, we haven't seen Vanessa use her powers, but what if the Vanessa we've known has been a fake all along? Imagine Wade finding out he's been in love with an imposter. That twist would be epic, right? Deadpool and death. Okay, just to clear this up, no, Deadpool and death isn't the title of Deadpool 4. Though it could make for a fun twist, right? So who here has seen Agatha all along? If you're a regular on this channel, you know we've been all over the series. And if you're up to date, you've met Death played by Aubrey Plaza as Rio Vidal. Now Rio Vidal's got a unique vibe. She's a cosmic entity with insane powers, but she's also got a style that, let's just say, matches Deadpool's energy pretty well. She's funny, fierce, mysterious, and well, pretty darn cool. Imagine the two of them together, Deadpool and Death. They could be Marvel's answer to Joker and Harley Quinn. That duo would bring a whole new kind of chaos to future projects, and I, for one, am here for it. Now, with Rio and Agatha Harkness' story wrapped up, R.I.P. Agatha, who sacrificed herself to protect Billy Maximoff, there's really no one left standing in the way of a Deadpool death romance like we saw in the comics. Plus, Thanos, the original jealous boyfriend, is out of the picture after Endgame, so the door is wide open. And while Wade Wilson hasn't shown up in any Agatha storylines, he's not exactly a stranger to Rio Vidal. Where Deadpool goes, Death literally follows. He leaves quite the body count, so you can bet Death's been around to, well, take care of business. They've likely crossed paths more than once. They just haven't made formal introductions yet. It's all set up for MCU to make that connection whenever they want. And hey, even if this doesn't happen in Deadpool 4, there are still plenty of ways Marvel could give us the Deadpool and Death crossover. The MCU loves their crossovers, and it looks like they're going all in on this with future films like Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars. Thanks to these crossovers, Deadpool and Death could end up working together on a mission or causing a little mischief together. And let's not forget, Deadpool's a force of his own now. 
He's not just a guy with a healing factor anymore. He's got access to the TVA, which means he's got the means to pop up anywhere, anytime, and leave a mess wherever he goes. Will fans love a Deadpool and death romance? All right, I can't speak for everyone, but personally, I'm all in for it. I mean, how cool would it be to see this story unfold in the MCU? Don't get me wrong, I love Deadpool, but his relationship with Vanessa always felt a bit too drama heavy. It's sweet, sure, but it doesn't quite match his total badass, over the top character. Here's this wild, unpredictable anti hero who can bring the chaos, and then suddenly we're diving into this ultra romantic storyline that kind of feels, well, a little too aww. Vanessa's character does balance out Deadpool's chaotic side. But honestly, it just feels like a bit of a mismatch sometimes. Every insane Deadpool moment ends with a romantic twist that, for me, doesn't quite hit the mark. Now throw death into the picture, and suddenly we have a romance that's as wild as Deadpool himself. We're talking about a love story that's as intense, chaotic, and anti-hero as it gets. This is the kind of Deadpool relationship I've been waiting for. Totally unpredictable and way more in tune with his character. So yeah, I'm all for this idea. But what about you guys? Are you excited to see Wade Wilson and Rio Vidal team up for a little love and mayhem in the next project? It's no coincidence that Marvel Studios released Agatha all along, not too long after Deadpool and Wolverine. Right now, Marvel is clearly focused on building continuity and connecting every character to recreate that same epic vibe we all loved in the Infinity Saga. This is exactly why I'm so convinced we'll soon see Deadpool and Death continue their unique relationship, just like in the comics. Now, I know this isn't exactly a PG-13 storyline, and it might not be everyone's cup of tea. But honestly, the idea of Rio Vidal standing by Wade Wilson in Deadpool 4 just sounds way too interesting to ignore. What do you guys think of this Deadpool and Death pairing? How should their story be told to keep fans invested in the project? Let me know in the comments. Hey, if you've made it this far, it sounds like we've got a shared obsession with the MCU and superheroes. Cinemamu is all about diving into these topics, so hit that subscribe button to keep the discussions going strong. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I'd love to see you and your crew here, ready to dive into even more Marvel madness. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Where are we?